welcome back. I finally got my software problems under control, I think. The sync should be better now. And I think the sound will be better on this video as well. Uh, when we last left off, we were on the verge of having these three general strikes, one day strikes break out. First, let's read the newspaper. Not much in the newspaper today. It will be soon because there will be all these strikes breaking out. All right, let's advance. Okay, now let's see how the parliamentary vote went. Wow, it really passed. How did my party vote? Against 73. I would have liked to see that higher. Liberals, 499. Conservatives, 486. Wow, it really came to a vote quickly. Didn't even have time for these strikes to break out. It's hmm. funny. So this first strike has 48,000 people out. That's the Union for Popular Defense. And maybe the next day we'll get another one breaking out. Yeah. Another two breaking out. Okay. So they're all out now. Oh. Who's Popular Defense. Popular Defense. Oh, they did two for some reason. A little bit of a glitch, I think. This one has 140,000 people out. And this one has 49,000 people out. So, fantastic. Let's see, now that we had some successful protests over this issue, the Alter Mondialis guy might like me better. Sometimes when you successfully protest about an issue people care about, their opinion of you does go out. And he, oh, it did. I'm going to call them in now, too, as well. Uh, oh, it's too late. The law has already been voted on. All right, never mind. I'll just call him in next time. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to make my note of my promise to the Altermondialis, which was 39-hour work week. Okay, let's keep going and see how these strikes play out. In this game, sometimes sit-ins or strikes could develop into an uprising or riot. Well, he's going to do another tax change even while these strikes are on. Deforestation tax. This tax is anchored in an environmental policy. On the other hand, it can damage the spreading of crops and therefore of a certain economic growth. Current value is zero, so he's actually creating this tax. Government proposal 26.4. I think that's dollars per acre cleared or something like that. I'm going to vote in favor. Of course, we're for a deforestation tax. Make the rich pay when they cut down the forest. All right. Now, these strikes are only supposed to be one day long, so I don't think we'll ha see much more escalation. But we're at 80% now, and the government, is, the Prime Minister is at 34, so we're really kicking his butt. And uh, if it keeps going in this direction, then sooner or later we will be able to launch even bigger protests than that. All right, let's keep moving in the game. Okay, newspaper. The president of Sudan won the legislative elections. No news from Canada. Very strange with all those strikes. Huh. You can bet that when you're in power and there's strikes like that, you get newspaper articles about them. Onshore wind. He's going to build an onshore wind farm. Where? I don't know where. 
Oh, because you select it manually, the position. You don't just choose a province. Okay, let's keep going. The vote is in for the deforestation tax, and it passed with 86.5%. My party voted 100%, even more than the Prime Minister's own party. And the Green Party voted 100% as well. In Canada, there is a small Green Party with one seat and a small Quebec Independence Party called the Bloc Québécois with 10 seats. Okay, move along. Ah, what happened to popularity there? We got plus 2.8 for supporting the agro the deforestation tax. Farmers didn't like it very much though. Prime Minister lost. Oh, he did lose. Look at all that. He lost for the strikes. He lost about two and a half percent. A little bit more. And now he lost points for the deforestation tax. I'm surprised by that. Maybe it's because I have it on easy level. I'm not sure. Moving on. Syria and Iraq are in a f conflict here. There was no declaration of war, so it's not a full war, but they are fighting each other. Let's check it out. Happens a lot in this game. And the reason usually is just that uh, units get too close to each other's borders while they're fighting internal terrorists. And then it starts a conflict. Oh, wait a minute. Their flags are so difficult to distinguish. At one time, Syria and Egypt formed a united country for a short time, a couple years, I think. And Iraq wanted to join. So you can see Syria's flag has the two stars. So Iraq made their flag almost the same with three stars. But they were rejected. They weren't allowed to join. So even though they changed their flag to look like the country they wanted to join, they still weren't allowed. Now, can we see? I don't see any Iraq unit. Oh, what is this? French fighter jet. I don't see any Syrian units in Iraq or vice versa. So I think it was just a little shooting match. Nothing major. I don't think it's going to escalate much. Alright, what's in the news? Not much, I bet. Not a lot happening in Canada these days since the strikes ended. in Somalia. Okay. Nothing. Horseback riding. He has cut it to zero. Ah, maybe I can criticize him about sports. That's the second time he's cut sports. Alright, so let's check this out then. We can criticize the head of state on a particular subject. Sport. In the media. We don't want to go on television except for really major things. Hopefully this works. We'll see what people think about my criticism. Okay. I think I'm going to make my episodes a little bit shorter. Maybe closer to like 25 minutes an episode. My computer pro processes so slowly this game that uh, it takes me like twice as long of actual gameplay on my end to make these videos like half the time I'm talking to you and then half the time I'm skipping in the video in the final video for your sake while I'm just waiting for the game to process anyway Gilbert as you know I think the proper pronunciation is Gilbert now that I think about it for in, a, in French Gilbert as you know criticizes government action on sport 
Canada Citizens Movement's Secretary General gave the government a score of 1 out of 20 for its handling of this issue, adding, and that's being generous. How did it play out? Oh, the journalists didn't like it. Sport, criticism with no tomorrow of Gilbert Junot. There has been very little reaction to Canadian Citizens Movement Secretary General's not-so-smart criticism of government action. Didn't affect our popularity, though. It did affect the Prime Minister a tiny bit. 0.15%. So, it was worth it. Ah, now we can criticize him, though. Rather bad figures for unemployment. The National Institute for Statistics has just published a new estimation of 7.1% of unemployed people among the active population. This is one issue that the criticism usually does work well, if unemployment is rising. So let's try it again. It's not good to do it too often, actually, but hopefully this time it works. And then we'll have to be quiet for a while. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Employment. Okay. In the media. Okay. What's it doing now? Establish a maximum blood alcohol level for drivers. The blood alcohol level is the quantity of alcohol in the blood and is expressed in grams per liter. Alcohol modifies perception and has an effect on the central nervous system. You're telling me. As soon as the blood alcohol level exceeds 0 0.5 grams per liter for most consumers. Current value 0 0.8, government proposal 0 0.7. So he wants to make it a lower amount. So he's going to make it harder to drink and drive. Like you have to have even less alcohol in your system. And I have no idea what to think of this. You know, drunk driving is bad. I don't know the science here though, to be honest with you. I don't know what level is appropriate. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect a survey of Parliament and the people. People are against it. And my party is against it. Okay, well that makes it pretty easy, doesn't it? All against. But I'm not going to protest or anything. I just don't think it's that big an issue. Moving on. Uh, we got some popularity because of our criticism about employment. Wow, we gained 3.1%. The government lost 6.82%. But that includes both criticism in the media and the proposed legislation of uh, lowering the blood alcohol for driving. That actually hurt him more than our criticism. So it's hard to determine exactly how much was for which. First, the newspaper. Yeah, here you go. So our criticism really worked. Employment. Gilbert you know, hit him where it hurts. The Canada Citizen Movement's Secretary General has expressed his great sadness on the matter, an oh-so-delicate subject for the current government, which he has described as a team of grave diggers. Well, isn't that what Marx said? Uh, the bourgeois uh, create their own grave diggers, the proletariat, right? something like that. Employment, sensible criticism by Gilbert, as you know, that's what I'm talking about. Ever alert, the Can Canada Citizens Movement's Secretary General volunteered pertinent criticism of the government action, said George Kexon, the political analyst for the program Face to Face. He's one of the characters in the game. And he's the host of the election debate. Uh, I guess, the, you know, the name will be different in every country, but in Canada, that's... Yeah. INE Barometer Survey. A vast majority of the population has a negative opinion of the head of government's actions. 27%. Awesome. If he dips too much lower, once you get around 20% or lower, then he's in big trouble. He might get deposed and replaced by his own party, or there could be riots or something launched by us or launched by someone else 
And now, what is he doing? Education, teacher training. He's cutting teacher training almost in half. Budget economy is huge. $17 billion a year. But geez, this guy really is, I don't know. I think center right, maybe Everson programmed center right to be a bit too extreme. Because he's acting quite right, in my opinion. Quite right wing. It's the first time he's touched education, though, right? And anyways, we shouldn't criticize anymore for a while. We just did two in like a week, and that's enough. If you do any more, the people and the media run out of patience with you. Whoa! I'm going to... I was just uh, skipping ahead, but I'm going to pause it there because the head of government just fell at 2%. Whoa, cutting the teacher training cost him 24%. That's nuts. So I think he's going to get deposed and there's going to be a new election very soon. We're on the brink here. I think his own party will kick him out. And if they vote non-confidence in the prime minister, there will be an election. G7 summit, the member states rejected the request of Russian membership of the G7. All right. Oh, here we go. The people are angry. Standing alone against the rest. A historic demonstration took place in the capital city to demand the resignation of the head of government. The population of Ottawa gathered in order to show their discontent. Political parties of all sides trade unions, artists, sportsmen, and women and media characters were present. Sportsmen and women and media characters. So there wasn't any actual displayed um, protest or anything, but you see this message from any country where the head of government has a really low popularity, like he's on the verge of getting kicked out. Just expressing that the whole country hates him. Okay, I'm not going to skip ahead. I'm going to fast forward and let you watch. Because I think any day now, this guy's history. And we'll get an interim prime minister. What do we got here? We'll get an interim prime minister and a new election. All right, let's see the voting. It passed the change in blood alcohol level for drivers. Government voted 100% favor. Conservatives 95. Our party 80% against. What does my deputy, party deputy say? Great passivity. This disgraceful legislation went to Parliament and we didn't do anything to stop it. I think the party would have taken action if you had called for demonstrations. To make matters worse, you haven't spoken out in the media. You haven't shared any opinions, any criticism. Jeez, relax. What do you want us to be, the party for drunken drivers? Maybe she likes to drink and drive or something. I don't know. Why is she so upset about this law? Big deal. Cool it, lady. All right, let's keep going. Let's see this guy get turfed out. We actually gained, though, for voting against it. But... She thought we should have, like, stormed Parliament Hill, I guess. Okay, here comes a new law. Regulate vehicle traffic in urban zones. It's an environmental law. Large urban areas can fall victim to elevated atmospheric pollution levels, mainly due to motor vehicles. According to the World Health Organization, in 2006, air pollution was accused of killing 1.3 million people worldwide. Current value, speed limits when pollution peaks. And he's proposing alternating traffic every other day. So that means uh, you can only drive into the downtown of a major city uh, every other day with your car. Uh, some countries do this. Uh, I know Beijing did it in the run up to the Olympics to try to reduce the air pollution in Beijing. And what they do is like if your car license plate number begins or ends with a odd number, then you can drive on the odd number days. And if it 
ends or begins with an even number, you can drive on even numbered days of the month. And yeah, I'll support this. We basically support environmental action. We want to be eco-socialists to a certain degree. Vote four. Yes. But I think you're still going down, Mr. Prime Minister. We might not even be a lo around long enough to see that bill go through. Oh, I need one point for the legislation. Oh, hold on a second. Come on, computer. You can do it. Come on, old Bessie. We're trying to build a revolution here. Yeah. So that law was a little bit popular. So now it's way up to 3%. I'm over 20 minutes now. I want to keep going, though. I'm hoping he'll get kicked out any day now, and I want you guys to see it in this episode. Healthcare report, reduced alcohol consumption, but the amount is still worrying. So people are drinking less because of the new law saying you have to drink less if you want to drive. Come on, liberals. Kick this bozo out. He's bringing your party down. He's bringing the country down. we got to bring him down. we got to put me in. the whole point. See, now if we wanted to, we could probably figure out a way to meet his best friend or the army general, and we could get his butt kicked out. But uh, it wouldn't be democratic. The best friend would murder him, assassinate him, or the army general, I think, would just put us directly in if he likes us. He might not like us since... He's probably conservative and we're socialists. But I think those kind of options are available when the leader is really unpopular. Yeah, what's he doing there? Sports. Scout movement. He's cutting the scouts, boy scouts and girlfriends, to zero. Wow, this might be the end of him. We already criticized him on sports, didn't we? Not too long ago. But I bet you that hurts him even more. Three percent that might knock them down to like one percent or something. No effect, yeah. No Canadian news. Oh, it had only a tiny, tiny effect. Wow, I guess people don't care very much about the boy scouts or the girl scouts in Canada. We call them the girl guides. Boy Scouts and Girl Guides. I don't know why. Alright. How'd the vote go? It passed. 60.6%. Our party voted in favor 68%. Okay. Good. That helped us by about half percent. Drivers don't like it, but people who like the environment do. Didn't do anything to him. Not yet, anyways. I guess it only hurts or helps him when he proposes it for some reason. Okay, we got six more minutes until this video reaches 30, and I want him to get kicked out before then. I like to keep my videos to around 30 minutes or less because, uh, you know, I want them to be easy to view in one little chunk for you guys make it more convenient I'll just try to put out one new episode at one or two new episodes every day and keep them short and sweet but we only got five more minutes for the liberals to kick them out you can see even when I'm just fast forwarding that sometimes it pauses at the end of the day because yeah if I get any money I'll probably have to get a new computer 
At least I got the software figured out. It seems to be working quite well, I hope. We'll see when I upload it. Anything in the paper? Nope. Why would there be? No confidence. Non confidence. In South Korea, they're uh, impeaching the president. They already impeached her, and soon the Supreme Court will rule to uphold or overturn the impeachment by the National Assembly. If they uphold it, they're going to have new elections. And if they reject the impeachment, I think there could be trouble because there were millions and millions on the streets of Seoul and other cities every Saturday for weeks until they impeached her. She got caught helping her best friend embezzle millions of dollars. And a lot was revealed where, like, the friend was really running the country. The friend who is unelected and serves no government office was basically really running the country like a shadow president. So she's not very popular. Set duration of school vacations. The length of school vacations has an impact on the quality of education and the well-being of pupils and teachers. Summer vacation takes place in July and August in the Northern Hemisphere and in December and January in the Southern Hemisphere. Current value 93 days. They want to cut it by one. Why even bother? So they're going to send the kids to school for one more day a year. I'm pretty sure I'm against this. I want kids to have their free time. I don't want kids to be zombies. Always at school every day. Uh, hmm. Should we protest? I mean, it's just one day. It seems like such a small deal. But if we protest, maybe we can get them kicked out. Let's try and see uh, what the party deputy said. If my party doesn't want to protest then she will just say no. I'm not going to criticize the media. We already did a lot of that. So we already did a demonstration in one city. Now let's do demonstrations across the country. She might tell me no. It's not worth it. And that's okay. I don't think we want to call in any uh, organizations or associations on this. Oh, yeah, we do. We want to call in the students. Student Union. I almost forgot there was a student union, but there is. So let's meet him in the morning. All right, my party is going to protest. Good. All right, then this... This Prime Minister is on his last legs. Here we go. We're going to kick him out. I'm going to end the video after we kick him out. Oh, he's at 0% now. Student Union Leader. Offy Coffee. He might like me now just because we're protesting. Militants can be proud. Offer champagne. He likes me. Oh, he likes me. He went up by two notches already. All right. So let's go to the legislation. Protest action. Urgent organization, union, students, call them in, they're sure to join now, they like me, here we go, we gained, he's down to zero, he will fall, any day now, maybe like by tomorrow or the next day, hurry up and do it, I want to end this video, and they're going to protest, yes. They might even like raise a riot or something. Excuse me. All right, now they're protesting, so we're gaining even more. He's already at zero. He can't lose anymore. He didn't do a riot though. This is our protest.
here's the message about the other the student union's protest. I know what he's gonna say. He says that every single time another organization has a protest. I think it's a glitch. I didn't check how many they brought out, but they say that every time no matter what. He's going to build a nice big theater in New Brunswick. Well, isn't that nice? Come on, kick him out already. This is getting frustrating. Should have happened by now. I mean, he's at zero percent. One percent. What's that for? Initiation of con oh for building the theater. Yeah, all right, of course. All right, well, I'm sorry. You're going to have to wait one more episode to see the Prime Minister booted out of office. I don't know why they're taking their time. Usually he would have been gone by now. But it's a bit of a cliffhanger. I'm pretty sure you're going to see it in Episode 5. So please join me then.